hi thank you for getting a wine glass paint kit let's go over what's in your paint kit first we have your glass that's your canvas your brush napkin your water and your paint you have four colors and your apron put your apron on It's minimal paint so you have minimal mess just put your apron on so you can have the artsy look <laughs> So let's get into it. First, we're going to start with the parts of the glass, your ball, your stem, and your base. We start with the ball, then we paint the stem, then the base of the glass. Let's set up our area to work. I'll provide a paper towel, but there's a, get an extra one so you can have it for your placemat. Have your brush ready for the water to wipe off on your extra napkin to clean between color changes and your four colors, yellow, green, brown, black. We're gonna paint a sunflower, guys. Let's get into it. When you start to paint, we are going to use yellow. And when I use the yellow paint, I am painting the petals first. And I paint the petals a triangle, an open-ended triangle. So you put the point of the triangle and then the ball on the side. So the point in the top and go around. As I'm painting the petals, they get shorter and shorter. So it's a triangle, a ball around the glass, and then I go around the glass. The triangle, the ball, and go all around the glass. It's an open-ended triangle, then come down with an open circle towards the end of the glass. We will go all around the glass. I get shorter and shorter. Petals are shorter and shorter as I go. Once you finish all of your petals, you will then fill in the petals with yellow. And you go all around the glass until all of your petals are completely filled in. This is not a rush job. You want to take your time. This is a relaxing time for you to play your music, whatever your libations are, and enjoy the moment to create your masterpiece. There are no mistakes in art, only opportunities for creativity. So keep on going. Keep on painting. Don't stop. This is a one of one, your masterpiece. Nobody's glass is going to look the same. Your glass won't look like mine. My glass won't look like yours. Every time I paint this design, it looks different. Every time. So I'm still going around the glass. I'm painting and filling in my right sunflower petals. Making sure I don't have any spaces. Once I filled in all in the yellow, I go around checking and paint it. Uh oh, there's a train coming. Just ignore that. <laughs> oh, I hope you guys are comfortable as you're painting. This is a relaxing event. Turn on your music. I prefer to do this video without any music because I want you to focus. But while you're home, get comfortable. Do you. As you can see, I'm taking my time now. I'm rushing this video, but... I'll say the total amount of time to paint this glass will probably take you about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Okay, we're finished filling in our petals. So now we clean off our brush, dip it in the water, clean it off, get the paint off, get our napkin, clean the brush. And now we're going to use green. We're going to paint the stem. Oh, I'm sorry. No, we're not. We're going to paint the sunflower buds. <laughs> so sunflower seeds. I apologize. We're going for the sunflower seeds. I'm rushing the video. Sorry about that. <laughs> so we're going to go for brown first. Get your brown paint. And this is light strokes. So you dip your brush in the brown paint and light strokes on the bottom ball of the glass. It's going to look light and it's fine. Just keep on going. You go around in a circle. Just light strokes. And that's going to represent the sunflower seeds on your sunflower. So you go around the entire ball, bottom, bottom ball of the glass with the brown paint to give a presence of your sunflower seeds. 
Once you're done, your glass will look like so. Then once we finish with that, you dip your brush in the water, clean it off, and get the black paint. And you're gonna leave a little bit of the edge of the brown so it's present and paint the black. So you're gonna do light strokes again, but it's gonna be from the stem of the glass to the middle of the brown paint. And that represents our sunflower seed. So you'll have brown and black, as you can see here. You will go around in a circle and keep on going, keep on going until you have your presence of your sunflower seeds. I know you're looking at your glass like, wow, I did this. Yes, you did this. You are an artist today. You may be a teacher, doctor, lawyer, stay-at-home mom, stay-at-home dad. Whatever your profession is, at this very moment, you are an artist creating your masterpiece. Let's get into our stem. So with the stem, it's green paint, and we're going a back and forth motion, just back and forth. Now be careful, don't do it too hard because your paint will splatter. So take your time. Remember, do not rush. Get the green paint, go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and go around. It's gonna come out really light at first. So no worries, it's gonna look light. Just take your time, because as you're going, the paint is drying. And you just want to keep on going. It's going to be light. Once you finish that portion of it, we want to stand it up, clean our brush off again, and look to see if we missed any spots on our petals because now we can fill it in without lifting the paint. Go in and check your petals and fill out any open spaces and paint the yellow around your glass to fill in your sunflower. Remember, do not rush. Take your time and relax. This is a relaxing activity, a time to just sit back and create and see how awesome you are. So I'm going around a glass, seeing if I missed any spots. I didn't miss any spots, okay. Keep on going, keep on going. Clean it up, clean it up. So I want my sunflower to remind me of spring. Springtime's coming. So as you can see, all the spots are filled in. Now, clean our brush off. We're gonna now fill in the spaces that may have been left out when we first started the stem of the glass. Remember, the back and forth motion does flick. So be careful not to do it too hard so you don't flick too much paint. So you're filling in, filling in your stem as you're going around, you're checking for the open spaces, putting your second coat on your stem, seeing if you need to tighten up any areas on the stem of your beautiful sunflower that you worked so hard on. I'm proud of you. Very good. Look at your sunflower. It's almost done just that fast. Now we're gonna do the base. Turn your glass over, sit it on your place, area and take your brush and paint with a long stroke around the glass filling in the base of your stem so we're just going around the base of the glass with the green paint and we're just going to keep on taking long strokes and going around to the base of the glass is filled in as you can see here remember it's not a rush job you can pause this video anytime, take your time, go through it, see if you want to clean up any spaces, but go ahead, paint your glass. Voila, congratulations. You have completed your masterpiece. Your sunflower is all done. Can you believe it? You did this. You created your masterpiece. I hope you enjoy your glass. And thank you for getting a See Me Glass wine glass paint kit.